Hi, I'm Sue from Sue Pellin Designs. Today, I'd like to show you my latest book, Hearts and More, Rotary Cut Applique. This book is the companion to the Hearts and More tools. I have developed this set of quarter, excuse me, of eight inch rotary cutting tools for cutting applique shapes with your rotary cutter. This makes fusible applique and hand applique much more quick and easy. The booklet that comes with your tools teaches you the nine basic shapes that you can cut with this set of tools. When you have all four tools, you will be able to make these nine applique shapes in eight different sizes. Now I have a YouTube video already that shows you how to make all nine shapes. So you can practice along with me and learn to use your rotary cutting templates. But what I'd like to show you today is a little bit more about my book and why it is the perfect companion for using your applique cutting tools. In chapter one, I will show you my fusible applique method for working with Misty Fuse and your applique pressing sheets to make fusible applique shapes. Chapter two introduces you to all my favorite tricks and tools, including using Grace True Grips on the back of your Hearts and More tools. These grips prevent your tools from slipping when you cut for accuracy and for safety. Chapter three details how to cut each applique shape. By folding the fused fabric, there are six shapes that you can cut with one fold of your fabric. There are two additional shapes that you can cut with two folds, a variety of ovals and four petal flowers. With three or four folds, you can cut multi-petal flowers like this six petal flower and you can also cut an eight petal flower. Chapter four also introduces shapes that can be cut with multiple cuts of your rotary cutter. Chapter five is called special quilts. These special quilts include clamshell quilts, yo-yo quilts, what I call tile quilts, and drunkard's path quilts. Now I'll show you an example of each one of these specialty quilts when I get into the project section of the book. Chapter six explains how to finish your fused applique edges with a variety of decorative stitches and also shows you how to bind your quilts with applique shapes, as well as designing quilting designs using your hearts and more tools. Now the fun part begins. We have nine beautiful projects so that once you've learned from the instructional chapters how to use your tools, you'll be able to make the quilt on the cover, which is this beautiful applique quilt behind me, as well as the other projects in the book. Let me take you through the quilts one by one and show you the projects that you can now make using your rotary cutter to cut your applique shapes. Project one in the book is the Cave Clamshell book, the quilt that's been behind me during this video. Project two is the Blue Moons quilt. That quilt is simply made using the five inch circles of your hearts and more tools. Project three in the book is the Yo-Yo Bed Runner. Project four I call Mediterranean Blues, and it is made with the tile block method. Project five also uses the tile block in a different size to make a beautiful quilt, like this one here. Project six is our candy dish pin cushion. This pin cushion is made from an old candy dish. I have my tea pins inside and it uses the yo-yo technique to make a floral insert for your candy dish 
to act as a pincushion. Project seven in our book are Drunkard's Path quilt variations. Drunkard's Path is a simple technique that you can do with fusible applique instead of curved piecing. I'd love to show you how you make these Drunkard Path quilts using your hearts and more tools. Project eight is called Enough Love to Go Around. This traditional quilt pattern features hearts, flowers, and leaves, and this beautiful scallop border. To learn more about cutting the leaves with your Leaves Galore tools, you can find that video on my YouTube channel as well. When I have many, many leaves to cut, they can be cut with the Hearts and More tools, or you can use your Leaves Galore tools to supplement your Hearts and More to make these leaf shapes. These leaf shapes that are so common in my quilts are more easily made with your Leaves Galore tools. However, the Hearts and More tools can make them as well. This last project in the book is called the Row Quilt. This row quilt uses all of the shapes that you can make using your Hearts and More tools and rotary cut applique. It's a beautiful quilt for a shower, for a baby, or just as a wall hanging. Each of the design elements in this quilt could be used separately as a border for any of your future applique quilts.